Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh review. Today, I'm going to be checking out the uh, Ant-Man Legends Infinite Series Grim Reaper. Now, Grim Reaper was uh, my main draw to this series, mostly because it's, you know, it was announced that there's going to be a new body. Uh, I know Ant-Man, the movie-style Ant-Man, is a new body, too. But this is a new base body superhero uh, super villain, but it's a new base body, you know, for customs, for future figures. The Ant-Man body probably can't be reused later on. I have a couple of ideas for uh, customs, but uh, if those will pan out, I don't know. Uh, I can't tell at this time. I haven't opened them yet. And now, I found this at Toys R Us this morning on the peg. Uh, it was just yesterday that people started posting that they were finding them at Toys R Us. I went to mine this morning, and they were there. That never happens. So hopefully, this is going to hit uh, pretty hard, kind of like the last Avengers series. I don't know how. I don't remember how quickly that got out, but they're everywhere now. So maybe this will do the same in the next Spider-Man series and the next Avengers series. Uh, toys for everybody. But let me get this open and uh, check this out. Okay, out of the package, and uh, he looks pretty good. I'm glad to get another base body that's in between, you know, the Black Panther body, or, well, Bucky Cap, whatever you want to call it, and our larger body that we got, Radioactive Man, Sentry, Luke Cage. But for the most part, the figure looks fantastic, sculpt-wise, but uh, I already have some nitpicks, and it's not so much with the sculpt or the actual figure, but I think it was, uh, you know, an add-on later, and then some factory errors. The tooth right here, a little bit of paint missing, and the eyes, I just a crazy face. I, I don't know if they were painted light on purpose, you know, to kind of give him that uh, back from the dead look. You know, he died, he came back, uh, so I don't know if they purposely went for a slightly zombie look, but then the huge smile, just the I want to eat your brains kind of grin. Uh, he just looks crazy. I don't mind it. It doesn't bother me in a you know negative way. It's just very noticeable, which it, it makes his head sculpt you know uh, fairly unique. A lot of people have been gripping about the cape. I uh, I know we're used to big fluffy you know spread out capes that cover shoulders and you know flare out and all that. Uh, but looking at this, actually getting it in hand, being more of a streamlined cape that kind of flares out at the bottom, uh, I'm I'm good with this. And it lays on his shoulders pretty good. The peg in the back has kind of a, a, a shelf sticking out to keep it off his body when it's actually on the figure. So in position, it sits on his neck fairly well. I mean, it looks like a clip, yeah, but... I don't know, I, the only other alternative would have been to glue it down. And then it, you know, it kind of sticks out from the body. It's not bad at all, but we'll take that off for purposes of review. Now, my huge, huge knit here. See the gaps right here, where the thighs meet the hips? There's a, there's a fairly obvious gap there. And at first I thought, uh, factory error or you know molding error for the legs and then I realized these pieces are on backwards the sculpt for the thigh is actually back here and I think it's the whole assembly piece I'm not a big anatomy guy let's uh let's look at a figure I know is put together right so the big muscles on the outside the little muscles on the inside it's the same here. So the legs are on the right side. It's just the hips that are backwards. This whole piece needs to be turned around inside the crotch. Now, unless I can pop the legs off these pegs, uh, this is not going to be easy unless I split the crotch. And mm, I don't know how much I want to get into that. I just I can't just turn it around, you know, like if it were a backwards uh forearm like usual if there's swivels at both ends so yeah that's going to be kind of tough I didn't notice it at first but now that I've seen it uh, it's bugging me a lot I may try to uh, fix that before the end of the video and the other thing this arm works great it flows 
the sculpt goes right up to the elbow and then the elbow goes right into the uh, bicep the upper arm here the scythe arm is more of an afterthought like the base body was made and then Hasbro came along and made another arm to uh, house his scythe because the sculpt for the forearm here doesn't go all the way up to the elbow so there's a noticeable gap and a lot of peg showing right here and it doesn't actually squeeze onto the elbow peg or the elbow assembly here so yeah noticeable gap it bends okay everything works it just I don't know it just kinda hangs there the pegs in right the head of the peg is sticking out on both sides so I, I don't know what's going on there but hopefully if we see this body reused later and surely we will I mean there's so many possibilities with this size body that uh, both arms will look like this left arm here going over articulation it's not much different than what we've seen with the big body and the little body well now the little body the bucky cat body uh, the head is on a hinge with a ball at the top so you get some side to side you get up you get down uh, the shoulders are hinge and swivel the hinge out they swivel all the way around bicep swivel double elbows pretty good range of movement the scythe arm has a swivel at the top here and it almost feels like it wants to pop off it is a little bit loose but only because I've been pulling on it thinking it comes off but uh, there's no swivel on the regular arm here but the wrists are hinge and swivel the ab joint gets a pretty good range of movement it comes down it goes back swivel at the waist the uh, hips are pegged 90 so it goes straight out actually that's not bad at all back not so much butt sculpt swivel at the thigh uh, you have your double knees swivel at the top of the boot so maybe we can put some Captain America boots in there or something come on Hasbro uh, hinge at the ankle and then the forward facing peg for rocker ankle the paint apps here like I said uh, one little tooth right there on the skull and crossbones uh, it's got a kind of a scratch on it but overall there's not a lot of color going on with Grim Reaper there's white there's some silver uh, some silver here this isn't a sculpted uh, arm bracer there that's just painted lines and then in the face you know there's reds and skin tone and the very light blue eyes but when you get to the cape yes like I said uh, it looks you know very simple but this it is there's some sculpted folds in here and stuff and there's actually some shading on the purple it's a nice purple when I first looked at it I thought that purple looks funky but there's some shading going down the inside of the uh, creases here and the biggest reason I found it was because this paint app right here kind of misses the highlight it goes beside the sculpt so yeah there's some there's some uh, there's some extra paint going on on the cape inside too so it shows so it's, it's a nice little throw in there I mean they could have just left it straight up purple but I kinda like the shading as you can see he is a bigger bulkier body than uh, you know the standard Bucky Cap Black Panther body it's taller it's wider it's a little bit smoother it's not as you know it doesn't have the striations that the this body has it's a little bit more tight more like it's covered in you know uh, spandex that's cool but it's noticeably smaller than our big guy sculpt but this sculpt does remind me of this one a lot uh, just how the muscles are formed a good you know in-between size uh, this is gonna work perfect for you know hopefully hopefully Punisher hopefully Captain America you know the guys that need to be a little bit larger but not you know roided out now he does come with the uh, which leg is this uh, the left leg of Ultron Ultron Prime from uh, you know Avengers movie and uh, this is looking actually pretty good I wasn't too excited about building Ultron uh, he's an okay build a figure but you know uh, it's another Ultron that isn't classic Ultron 
but I'm good with, you know, metallic silver guys. Okay, uh, after some surgery, I took the head off just so I wouldn't bend up the ear thingies. Uh, the hips do indeed pop off. I did not know this. I thought uh, this this top part is hard plastic, but it's just two pegs sticking out here. So I've taken the leg off. I've already switched this hip from this side to this side. You can see the sculpt is here now. And I've switched the right hip onto the right leg here, which is actually the left leg. But you can see the sculpt follows the line down in front. And the sculpts actually line up. But there is still a slight gap here. So I'm not quite sure if that can be closed up. I can't seem to make it. But it doesn't look like the craggly mess that it was a minute ago. So I'm going to show you how to pop the hips off. I, it's essentially just heat. You heat them up and then you pull them off. But I had to kind of finagle it around to get it off. I'm going to heat this back up and then I'm going to pop it on and I'll show you. Take the heated part, just push it back on. I mean, it's really that easy. Now getting it off, I'm going to try to do it while it's still hot. Turn it forward to where this is jammed against this and just pull and it'll pop right off the, the hip ball. So there you go. Got the right leg on the right side. Now for this, this is your soft plastic right here. And this is your hard plastic. So you heat up the... Now this is a little tougher because it's such a big peg, but you're gonna wanna force it on. And there you go. Line up. The sculpts look good. There's, like I said, there's still a slight gap, but not nearly as bad as it was. And it's still kind of warm, so he's kind of floppy. I'll have to wait for him to cool down. Pop the head back on. And the cape. Yeah, that's, uh, that's much better. So, yeah, at the end of the day, uh, I'm loving this figure, especially after fixing him. Uh, it, new body. So many possibilities for uh, future characters. It enhances the Marvel Legends line overall. Plus, it's Grim Reaper. I, how much did he kick ass back in the day? Uh, yeah, it may be the zombie one, but you it's perfectly good at, if you want to use it as a classic Grim Reaper. Uh, there's nothing holding you back. New figure for the villain shelf, new body for the line overall. I couldn't be happier. So, if you like the review, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the foosh. And it takes a little bit of force, at least on the right one here. It takes quite a bit to get it in there. But once it's in there, it's stuck. And I'm good with that. I have an idea or two. An idea? I have an idea. Missing paint apps every now and then. I'm not, I'm not too, you know, hard on. <laughs> I said hard on.